I'm standing here in front of the Fayetteville Square and as you can see behind me, the first Thursday event is taking place. Now this event is where local artists as well as local students can connect with their community. Now while some parents may be sad to see their children leave, they're joining a campus that they'll soon be able to call home. Now what's interesting about this little wooden token is that it will be accepted at every Fayetteville's Farmer's Market. Reporting for UATV, I'm Meg Little. I'm standing here in front of the Fayetteville Square and as you can see behind me, the first Thursday event is taking place. Now this event is where local artists as well as local students can connect with their community. This is the first year for some vendors such as Prairie Grove native Kay McGagren who says that there's something different about her craft. It's very unique. I rarely make two pieces alike, so and people like that, I think. And this helps just, uh, you know, get the word out and, and, you know, publicize to the public that I've got a unique craft to offer them. Some University of Arkansas students are also getting involved. Advertising manager for the Arkansas Traveler, Cannon McNair, says he and his staff are getting involved in a unique way. We're making newspaper shapes and hats and origami, uh, just a, another creative way to recycle newspaper. Being from the University of Arkansas community, we try to recycle everything that we bring back in. And so we decided that we could take some of those newspapers and recycle them in a different way, in a more creative, uh, first Thursday Fayetteville funky way. The event now includes live music, a charity beer garden, as well as a kid zone. Now the event is wrapping up, but you can catch it next month on the first Thursday. Reporting for UATV, I'm Meg Little. The USDA has introduced a new food group symbol, MyPlate. MyPlate, a simple reminder to make healthy food choices. The old food pyramid confused everybody. That's the one that said, eat all the pasta and bread and crackers you want, it'll be okay. And we did that for 30 years and we got fat. Jerry Huddleston, human resource manager at Ozark Natural Foods, says Arkansas has been ahead of the game when it comes to healthy eating. Well, the Arkansas Department of Human Services has been using uh, a very similar method of, of the plate divided into four quadrants for a few years now, and it's, it's really helpful. A lot of people relate to it a lot more. And the My Plate tells us that when we sit down for a square meal, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and we look at that plate, uh, half of that plate ought to be fruits and vegetables. Um, and half of those fruits, fruits and vegetables, preferably, ought to be green and raw. Um, the other half of the plate, a quarter of it needs to be your carbohydrate, and the last quarter of it needs to be your protein. I think the plate is going to work a lot better for people because when was the last time you sat down and ate off of a food pyramid? For more information on my plate, visit choosemyplate.gov. Reporting for UATV, I'm Meg Little.